Morning. 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 Elmo is uh, rearing in the background just to try and keep baby amused. So, yep, it's morning of the holiday. We're just sort of chilling out at the moment. Um, last night was a rough night for, for Ray, who got up to April. Pretty grabby. Yeah. She just was really unsettled this morning in particular. Um, Ray gave her some Panadol to try and calm her down, but she just... She woke up again in such a state that she was like hysterically crying and I, even holding her and cuddling her just wasn't helping. So immediately I put on Elmo and eventually she calmed down. Um, so I'm going to take her to the doctors this morning just to make sure that we're not missing anything. I'm worried like about things like an ear infection, which is very hard to catch as a parent. Like only doctors can really see that. So. She has been touching her ears a lot, which people say it's teething, but I want to make sure it's not an infection because nothing will help that apart from antibiotics. So also just for peace of mind, like if they say she's fine, then that will make me feel better. Um, and it will just be a weird case of her being upset when she wakes up. We were pretty much packed. We just got to pack the car. So the plan is we'll get back from the doctors and go and hopefully she'll sleep in the car. So this is the amount of stuff that you need to take away with you when you have a baby. There, some there, that's actually just my stuff. That's like my little pocket of stuff. And all this food, formula, all that sort of stuff. And I've got her nappy bag there, we'll have Eskies. We've got to take her high chair. It's actually ridiculous the amount of stuff we're taking. We are staying in a cabin, which is why we're taking food and things to cook food in. So that's why we have a little bit more stuff than we might if we weren't going to be cooking our own food but yeah that's a lot of stuff like it's just a lot okay change of plans couldn't get into the doctors till much later than i wanted to so we're not going to the doctors um hopefully she'll be okay so we're just gonna pack the car she's down for a nap now she passed out so hopefully she has a good sleep and then we'll leave as soon as she wakes up so yeah a bit of a different plan to what we had but we'll roll with it managed to make it to the first stop Leg. of our road trip and April hasn't cried once. She's actually been asleep for probably half of it and just awake and staring into space for the other half. Yeah. We're going to stop here and feed April, give her some lunch and also do some shopping for food for us for the week and yeah have something to eat ourselves and then get back on the road. Time. Yep. <laughs> Hi. Where are we, Papa? Hey, Wendy. Wow. Where are we? Look at this. It's pretty nice. Oh, I've got a big TV for baby. Yeah. You can watch Elmo on that. Wow. Oh, look at all this room you've got. Yeah. You've got so much room. Fit that cut right in here. Yeah. Does that sound like a plan? A little desk to do your work on. Oh, that looks good. That would be it. It's a king bed. Oh, oh. oh that's good. Pass the test. Let's go have a look at your bath, quick. How oh. are we going to bath you in this thing? Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, April. That is so big. We're going to live in that bath, aren't we? I want to get in that right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I think, um, we'll unpack. 
and then we'll, we'll be back. Yeah. Well, one of us will unpack. Yeah. <laughs> the other one will hold a baby. Hey, buddy. Think the bird can sense you eating? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much unpacked now. It's been like an hour. <laughs> Feels like it's been like several hours since we got here. Hasn't been that long. We've got TV, entertainment, quick set up, April's little corner. Lauren's unpacked all the food we bought and got our stuff all set up. Then we got her bed, good to go. Got changing station. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to rock and roll. Pro probably overkill, but we could fit in the car, so why not? We make it like home. Yeah, we do. Good thing about this wildlife is they come up close, but the bad thing is they poop everywhere. Yeah. Look at all this poop. Like, he just pooped there. It's a fresh one right there from you. Lauren loves birds. No. <laughs> at the front counter, they're selling bird seats. Like, hmm, maybe I can get that. Maybe I can get Lauren walking and just go whoosh. Shower and bird, bird I seed. Hurt, I will hurt you if you do that. Yeah, but it'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll be funny. <laughs> you cute. Off he goes. See you later. We're out exploring. We've already seen one kangaroo <laughs> and lots of cockatoos and a whole bunch of wood fires, which we're really enjoying. <laughs> yeah, smell is good.